Hi hey there, uh, it's T Squared hooking you up with a video on how to sync two versions of Tractor. So, firstly, what you're going to have to do is connect the two audio 8s via MIDI. You're going to have to decide which computer is going to send the signal and which is going to receive. Um, I'm going to pass over to Chris because his uh, computer sends to mine and he can explain the sending side of it. Okay, so uh, we'll come over to my machine here and uh, I'll just click on the metronome to bring up all the master clock stuff. Um, now usually if you're being lazy and you're using Tractor Scratch Pro sort of with the internal sync, usually we have deck master to auto, but for what we are doing, um, basically we come over to the clock master. I'm the sending machine so I've set it to internal. Uh, I've tempo set to 128 beats per minute. I also have the tick selected which you'll hear in a moment. And MIDI clock is also, uh, I've clicked the play pause button. So MIDI data is definitely being sent. And if you look at the top of your auto 8, you'll see the wee green LED. Um, and just for good measure, I'll hit the sync button. And that'll just basically reset what's being sent. So if I click now on the headphone symbol, uh, you'll see on our DJM 800, we have a signal on channel 1. Uh, that's going to be the tick. That is 128 beats per minute. Yeah, so I'll now uh, pass over to Matt and he'll give you the down low on receiving. Right, if we go to the metronome tab, top left, Tractor Scratch Pro on the receiving computer, usually be auto, I'm going to change mine to external. And then I'm going to hit tick, play, sync. If we hit the headphone tab here on channel 1 on my computer, you'll see in the DJM 800 I also get a tone. Right, then if we put Chris's tick up as well. You'll hear there's two ticks going simultaneously, but they're not synced. So next thing I have to do is sync them. Um, I'll pass you over to Chris and show you how to do them. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is try to get these ticks happening at the same time. So to do that, we're going to go up to our settings, and you'll see there is a MIDI clock uh, tab. So you'll see here as well, we have our MIDI clock sending offset. Currently, it's usually defaults to around 60-ish. Um, after about an hour of sort of hair pulling and file language, we find that our magic number is 21. And you can see the ticks are trying to sort their lives out. So what we'll do, we'll close down the settings. I'll click sync. And you'll see Matt's machine, the BPM's fluctuating quite a bit. So there you have it, uh, our ticks are pretty much bang on time with each other, which basically means that we can now, all, everything we do will be synced to each other. So uh, if you want to give that a go yourself, so you can uh, do all the cool things that you heard in our promo mix. Right, so I uh, hope you found that information helpful. Um, if you have any queries or anything, just put them in the space provided below and we'll try and answer them for you. It's legal, it's legal, it's legal, it's legal.